Hey, everybody. How are you doing? We are back. Uh, yes. Well, welcome back to the life of Cheryl and Chris. Today it is grocery shopping day. We're going to Brookshire's, me and Ty. Once again. Our usual Thursday rendezvous. Uh, yes, sir. Good old grind going to the local Brookshire. Now, we didn't film it, but what y'all don't know is we got a little pre head start on our groceries, didn't we? Oh, yeah. So it's going to make it easier. So today we don't have, there's a couple items we've already gotten locally. That way we don't have to have so much to bring back from here. And Ty doesn't have to have, you got to break it between car and stuff. Yeah. So those Did you like it better like that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You think it would work better like that? We get the heavier stuff here first. True. Yeah. Okay. It's way better. So what we did is we got, easier, we got our water out of the way. So now he doesn't even have to get a cart today. Yeah. You just get mine and be done with it. Because everything should fit in there with what we're going to get. So, we don't have to worry about none of the heavy stuff. The heaviest thing we'll have in the cart is a little bit of soda. But, other than that, That's the, fine. the gallons of milk that are heavy, you don't have to carry that. No waters, no dog foods. All that has been eliminated. The milk's not that heavy. Yeah, but, you know, you stuff to grab it and carry it in. Oh, well, yeah. So, now you don't have to carry anything really heavy. Because the bags are not that heavy with just regular items like cheese in it. And they put, you know, about four to five items in one bag. So we got about 20 items on our list. That's it. Yes, we do. And we don't have any meat or anything. So you don't have no bulky big meat packs even. This is going to be very, what I call, lightweight grocery shop. I guess lightweight shop. Because it's just like bags of stuff. Literally. Not even canned goods. It's getting better and better as you think about it, isn't it? Wait a minute. Now, we do have some hot sauce and pecan sauce, so we will have two glass items, so we have to be careful with that. Oh, we do have cans of... We had a big oh, we, can of Rotel. Well, the Rotel, two cans of Rotel. But, Otherwise, yeah, I think that's... But yeah, that's really it. What I mean like canned goods, I mean like a whole bunch of veggies and cans. You know, oh, yeah, I know what you mean. How to get them heavy, like people buy a tin in the world. And, oh, yeah, I know what you mean. We, do, we just won't have any of that today. So, this is going to be a very light shop. Because, like I said, we did a pre-shop at H-E-B today. I guess we'll give H-E-B a little bit of our business. Even though they were stinkers. Well, yes. We have a lot more video coming out. We've been having some issues with the uh, computer. The one that we used to do all the editing. It had kind of just, like, bugged out on me. And I had to redo, like, a reset. Well, basically, a factory reset. So... I'm having to put so much stuff back on it. Now, another thing you probably will notice if you haven't already, I'm sure you have, because you have to look at the credits, opening credits before you get to this part. You will notice that we have changed the opening scene because everything we had on there is gone. All of our pre-opening scene roll, our reels for that. So now we have to start from scratch and create all new beginning uh, credits. So it is different now, but we were going to change it up anyways after we had got our first 50 videos. So you are now uh, seeing that example. Uh, we do have quite a few videos to come out. Because we've still been rolling and taking uh, video footage, even though we, um, hold on y'all, there's a broken down Amazon truck, and another truck was trying to come through and squeeze right between us, wasn't he? Oh yeah. And we were about to be spread it, squeezed cream cheese with him. I started to let him go. Then he was uh, too busy with that cigarette in his mouth, so I took the advantage and got out of there. Because he was too busy going, ah. So, anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So, we ought to get in the grocery store. You come down the aisle and you come and talk to me. 
Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's gonna be terrible. So, anyways, um, so this is gonna be a good shop. The good thing is I can send Ty to go cash my lottery ticket in now without him having to look crazy up there with the lady. Let's see if she IDs you today. She probably will. Same one. She probably will. You're just gonna get me that cash for it. Yeah. Well, of course, yeah. So, <laughs> we uh, had Cheryl's birthday yesterday. That uh, birthday uh, video footage, like I said, should be out before this one. We, like I said, we were before we got back there with Amazon, broken down. Um, somebody getting their stuff today. <laughs> so, anyways, um, we have been continually filming and and. Even though we haven't quite got the computer up to par, right now I've got it to the point where I'm doing like 20 updates because you start all over again and every kind of update that it needs to catch up on comes out right away. So it may be hours for that to finish. I would think maybe by tomorrow afternoon I'll be able to start trying to get some, another video posted. And editing starts again tomorrow, hopefully. What's going to take me some time is getting the pictures again, how we had it, and finding uh, opening credit music that we should have backed up on a drive. Me out of all people should know this. Yeah, you really should. And it all started because I bought a program, y'all, to speed the computer up, called Avast. Avast needs to get talked to. And this is like about nothing but a nightmare to me. <laughs> It, it was, I mean, this is how all my problems started. But I got it because the computer was slow. And then the USB drive wasn't working, which I still don't understand that. I don't understand what's up with that. But if we can get the phone back, I'm going to try to do it through the Dell Connect thing. And that's how I did one of the videos. Um, but, y'all, it just... I think what's going to happen is I'm going to have to break down and buy another computer. Now, I was talking to the oldest son, William, and he said, eh, you can maybe have my laptop. I said, well, but I'm sure you're going to want something for it. So, he's been wanting a new phone. I might have to buy him a new phone, and he can just keep his laptop, because it ain't but three years old. Ah. And he, he said he paid a lot of money for it, and I think he did. So, he's willing just to give it, because he doesn't really use it much. So, that might be a win-win situation for us. It's not cheaper paying for a two hundred dollar phone than buying a yeah. two thousand dollar laptop. Feel me? Yeah, that's true. Sure. So I might take him up on that. He said he'll let me know. So we'll see what happens with that. But it's this equipment is for the birds, y'all. But anyways, so Cheryl enjoyed her birthday yesterday. We sung happy birthday to her. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not sure that video is posted already. By the time you're looking at this one. Just look for it. It's in the listing in there. <laughs> I'm sure it's somewhere. Because we don't know how these are going to come out, what bills come out first. We try to do them in order because I know sometimes we post this stuff and then it seems like we talk about this and you haven't seen it and then it's like you get it, get it in the back. And then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I give it to you. We don't do, we should, we're trying to do them in order. And once we get our computer situated out, Y'all will see these in order as they come out, and you won't get uh, Fridays today and get Thursdays tomorrow. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're working on it. Just be patient with us. Um, and we're going to extend our little offer about September. Here we go around the bend. You may want to be ready for this. Okay, I'm not losing the camera this time. Ty's going to hold it because this is where the blooper reel came in, if y'all seen that one. No, it wasn't here. It was on the way back. I thought it was around this curve, too. We had two mishaps. Well, yes, we had that mishap, but I don't know if you included that one. He hanging on to it this time. Point is, I know my mistakes in the last book charms video. I'm not making the same one this time. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we're just about here. So we are going to... <laughs> I'm not losing the camera today. We're going to stop and get gas at the Brookshire's gas station because if not, we're going to be pushing this back home. But we don't. I ain't going to be pushing. Tyler have to get out of push. I'll put it in neutral. 
Oh, yeah, that'll make things much better. I don't think you want to push a whole Dodge Ram truck. It's bad enough a car. <laughs> are you thinking about it? I don't have to think about it enough that I by don't the time you, Let's put it this way. By the time you get done pushing the truck where we got to go to the gas station, all your curls will be straight. <laughs> Literally. And the next time I push this thing all the way home, I'm going to be walking around with a set of washboard abs. There you go. So anyways, what we'll do is we'll talk some more when we come out uh, of Brookshire's. Uh, we may start filming again in there probably the next time we go. We'll take some footage. You will see some footage if we, if we haven't already posted it. Where Cheryl was in Brookshire's filming, but she just had it like kind of like this, you know. Yeah. And she did say, oh, there was one lady looking at her doing it, but I was like, oh, uh, that's where it starts. You get one Karen, and then the rest no. takes off. And I, the only reason why we haven't tried to film Brookshire because I'm still kind of taken back about what happened to HB, but, and I don't want to. And we really do like Brookshire. I'd hate to have a bad taste in my mouth about them. I really so I'm really trying to hold off uh, and push it as far as we can. We take video of the food that we got once we get out of there. And we talk to y'all usually when we come out of there. So that's how we're going to handle this for today as well. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're almost there. So we'll see you when we come back out of Brookshire. And that's just video magic like that. And, uh, of course, it's also being imagine when somebody pulls in front of you. <laughs> Just like that. Silly suckers. Snap it again for good luck. Yeah. All right. We'll be back in a flash. <laughs> We are on our way back from the grocery store, and what a day it has been. Oh, yes. As you can see, it's not too bad. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of stuff right there in the back. Yeah, but it's not that bad. Oh, no, not really. Not that bad, and tonight is mystery soda night. Ty's going to give me, uh, for when we have our dinner, he's going to put ice in my mug. Do we have ice? We should pick up a bed. Uh-huh. Anyways... <laughs> Ty's going to uh, put um, ice in my little mug and surprise me tonight with one of the flavors. He'll, uh, and I won't cheat, I won't go to the back and look what's on the shelf. Don't. He'll get one of the, he'll get the can off the shelf because he's going to put them in the office. And he's going to open it up and give it to me. And then I got to figure out if it's this new Mountain Dew Voodoo, Zero Sugar, calm down here, buddy, or... Some other kind called, I don't know what it is. Mountain Dew Spark. Spark. May spark my tailpipe, who knows. But. Yeah, it's got like raspberry lemonade in it. It's, either way, it's going to be good. Either, I think either flavor is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Now, that mystery flavor got me scratching my head because that's a little spooky. And they call it voodoo. Mountain Dew voodoo. Well, again, Dan, spooky. Just like I said. And it's just in time for Halloween, I'm assuming. Yeah. So, we are on our way. I don't even know what the damage was. <laughs> I don't damage now. That's what we're going with. That was what it was. It was damage. I think it was like 185. I think so. And that's because we did get the, uh, several cases of soda. Because we were getting low and we got to kind of keep the persona. But if you minus the sodas, the actual grocery supply was only about like 140. Not bad. Which is not bad for the rising cost of food prices right now. Uh, we did get some good deals because we got some penny deals. Okay. Our chips. Uh, the cereal was on sale, like two boxes for seven bucks. If anybody knows, one box of cereal is seven dollars in it by itself in some cases. We didn't grab any of the meat specials, but they was they had ribeye steaks, y'all, like a four pack. You buy that and get the second one for one penny. Brochars, if you're a club member like we are, you do get the perks. They did have the toilet paper set up, but if they would have had the paper towels, I would have grabbed them. Oh, yeah. Because we always need paper towels. 
So we did really good. I'm I'm pleased with the uh, uh, with the shop. We had fun as always. Oh yeah. We got our gas from there, and it's like it's good gas. I ain't kicking and bucking like a wild stallion. Because sometimes you go to these gas stations and your gas is less poor quality. You're going to feel it when you're jumping around like like a, a horse out of control or a bull riding. Uh, yeah. But it seems to be just fine. Yeah, it's good old smooth sailing. The camera hasn't fallen over. So I can uh, I can definitely say that Bookshire's gas is good. It, I don't know if it's a name, brand name behind it. I'm sure it is. They don't tell that. Maybe Texco, maybe Chevron gas, Shell gas. I don't know, but I'm, I'm pleased with the uh, results on that. And we got a good deal. It was only two ninety six, but Ty forgot to get the receipt, so I can't see what our club price was. You didn't tell me to get a receipt. Well, I would have liked to see what what my savings was, but that's okay. And we acquired new points with the new shop, so whatever points that we used. I'm sure now we got the new points because Lady said like we had 900 some points. Yeah. But she seems to be kind of high. Yes, Are you sure we used the points at the gas station? Or didn't we? I uh, don't see. He don't know. I hope that he didn't uh, I hope you did it right. I did. Did it ask you to use your points? No. They come up with the points. He just asked for your phone number? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, before you even start pumping, you can already answer in your phone number. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I guess you did right. Well, anyway, so it was his first time doing it at the, at the gas station and using points. And he yeah. probably remembers when we used to go to Exxon, we had to put the Exxon card in first. Yeah, because we, but we haven't used that in so long, so we probably don't have anything on it. And if you're wondering, yes, the Amazon truck is still broken down. Yep. I don't know what they're doing. But we went to the grocery store and got out of it and everything, and it's we're still sitting there when we come back on the highway. All I know is that uh, a lot of people are not going to be getting their packages uh, for a little bit of time now. Oh, oh, but I didn't have anything on there. I don't think I did. Amazon? Huh? Did you get anything on Amazon recently? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I ordered those razor shaver blades. Oh, right. And I ordered those uh, new surveillance system things. Uh, right. So all that's been recent, but I haven't ordered anything since that. And I'll be, I would have been mad had I ordered my scooter out of Amazon and ended up stuck on that thing. They'd be like, it's coming one day. <laughs> so, anyways, we are on our way back home. It is pretty hot today. You know, it is officially autumn. Oh, yeah. 98. And it's just uh, after 5 o'clock. We enjoyed a late lunch, a burrito. Which I'm sure we'll be doing the cha 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 very soon for me. Yep. Him too. Hopefully not an eighteen twelve cannonball. What you can say, man. <laughs> Damn. What? So anyways. In 1814, we took a little trip. Oh, never mind. There's a song about that. Uh huh. Anyways, Ty was so amazed by all the bush chicken, uh, I mean, bush uh, beans and stuff they had on the shelf. I said bush chicken. I'm thinking about bush's chicken now. Oh, man, I got me thinking about it. Uh -huh. I haven't done much of chicken in a while. <laughs> Y'all are it's me about chicken. So William was telling me earlier this morning that he had went to uh, our local chicken place in town. And what he normally gets, I think, and I forgot what he told me it was, 
is like nine dollars and nineteen cents. He said today or did or last night when he went, that same thing he gets that was nine dollars there was fifteen dollars. And they went up on the prices. Don't know, I guess, because they're, they're raising prices like everybody else do. Six dollars more than what it cost him earlier in the week, because he goes sometimes two, three times a week there. And he said he wasn't going back there no more because it was too expensive. So I was like, yeah, that is expensive. But the other day they got us on it too. And we just went and got a little eight piece chicken. And it was like $25, y'all, for eight pieces of chicken, uh, three rolls, three little square rolls, and a, uh, a side in a, about this much of fried okra in it. It was like $26. But when you buy in a small town like ours, and you and you uh, visit any one of the restaurants, you're gonna pay bukus out of the pocket for that. So when you hear buy local, support local, it's hard to support local businesses when they are raising prices that are ridiculously high. And most people do not wanna pay for twenty six dollars, I could have could have got uh, at least a twelve piece family meal at KFC. I mean, yeah. And had two sides and eight biscuits and twelve pieces of mixed chicken for twenty six thirty dollars with tax. So you gotta you gotta shop smart when you are buying local. Look at what's going on. Now, the ones that ain't so bad would be our national chains, like our Sonic, our McDonald's, and our Subway. And Dairy Queen. And Dairy Queen. And Pizza Hut. Yeah. Well, not necessarily Pizza Hut because it is more franchised than anything. But they do have to go under some corporate rules if they want to use the name Pizza Hut. Otherwise, it won't be that anymore. It just depends if the building is owned by the corporate itself or if the building is owned by a private entity paying to use the name, which is called franchise. Franchisees don't always have the same specials as corporate stores do. And they can make their own prices. But that can hurt them or it can help them. And sometimes, that's why sometimes you go to McDonald's and they don't always have the specials. Like you would see, like I was looking on TV. You can buy a sandwich and get another one for a dollar. That ain't at every McDonald's. That's just what the corporation puts out. Some of the franchises have their own. Like you can't get a home Texas home style burger everywhere. Right. When we were in Ohio, they didn't have it. They didn't even know what the hell it was. <laughs> yes, they did. So... It's like Burger King has something called a Western Whopper. And I tried to get that somewhere one time. I don't know where I was. They said, what the hell is that? Uh, it ain't even worth me trying to explain it to you. You don't have it? That's fine. I'll get something else. So you got to look at where you're at because everything is territorial. If you are in a fishing industry, you're probably going to have fish sandwiches. If you are in the South like we are, they have a lot of Western country theme type stuff. So you have Texas home style burgers, Western Whoppers and stuff like that. If you up in the North, it's more, um, well, I'm not sure what it is up in the North, but y'all get, y'all get the picture. Yes, and Ty is sleeping on camera. I'm not sleeping. Are you not? I'm looking at the road. Oh, I thought it looked like you were sleeping. My bad. <laughs> I've been looking off to the side. Yeah, I thought it, I looked over at you and looked like your eyes were just shut. Because I'm not white. I, I'm not just going to look around and go in. Hey, that's a good look on you. Anyways. So, we got our shopping done. Man, we did. Ty's going to unload it and get the stuff put up. Yeah, look at all that stuff. It's not that much. But it's the, it really ain't that bad. Nah, it ain't that bad. And 
you don't have that much heavy stuff, you can grab a couple of bags at one time. It'd probably be about maybe three, four trips the most versus 12 trips. <laughs> well, it's definitely not going to be 12 trips, that's for sure. No. So anyways, <coughs> another successful grocery shop is done and out of the way. Yep. And so we are almost home. We're going to get this stuff put up and then we're going to relax a little bit. And then uh, Cheryl's going to be making taco salads for tonight. Yum. And so, uh, and then we'll sit down and watch some movies or something, I'm sure. So, with that being said, Ty, tell them what do they need to do. All right, so don't forget to like, don't and subscribe to Life of Channel with Chris. Show you, help show your support, people. Leave a like, leave a comment for more good old shopping adventures and extravaganzas and all that jazz. And don't ask why I'm rubbing his belly again. It's a sign of good luck, I assure you. Thanks. He thinks if he rubs it more, the baby will pop out quicker. <laughs> He's still looking for that baby sister. <laughs> All right, so remember, we are the Cares and Karen is sharing, and we're sharing our lives with you. Later, everybody. Bye bye.